Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about the VS Code extension I built for GitLab called GitLab Workflow. You can install the extension using the Extensions panel of VS Code. You can find it by searching GitLab Workflow and install it right away. After you install the extension and reloaded your VS Code, you need to set up the extension. To do so, you need a personal access token from GitLab. It's something that you can do in a minute and there is a step-by-step -step guide on readme file of the project. When you get the access token, you need to add it to extension. Open VS Code command palette by pressing Command, Shift and P on Mac and start typing GitLab. You will find the personal access token command. Select it and paste the token you created. And that's it. You don't need to configure anything if you are using GitLab.com. However, if you use a self-hosted GitLab instance, you will also need to add gitlab.instance URL to your settings file. You can read more about it in the project readme file. At this point, your extension should be fully configured and if you open a GitLab project on your VS Code, you should see some GitLab related items on status bar. In my case, there is a CI build which is already passed, a merge request for my current branch and a closing issue for this merge request. Let's take a look at the pipeline. It's already passed and if I click it, it opens a menu where I can view the pipeline on GitLab, create a new build job, retry a failed one or cancel the running build. Let's go ahead and create a new pipeline for our branch. When I do that, extension will trigger a new pipeline for my project and it will open it on my default browser. Note that it will also update the status bar in the latest status of the pipeline. We also have a merge request link and when I click it, it opens the merge request on Chrome, which is my default browser. You can also open the issue on GitLab by clicking the issues link. Note that to be able to see the issue link on status bar, issue has to be linked with the merge request using the closes or fixes tag. You can see all commands provided by extension by searching GitLab on the command panel. For example, there is a command to open active file on GitLab, including the selecting line numbers. Another command for creating a new merge request from the current branch. It will open GitLab to allow you to create new merge requests quickly. The other command is advanced search feature of the extension. You can search merge requests and issues by various fields. There is a detailed documentation of advanced search on the project readme. You can take a look at those fields and perform very complex queries. There are also some other commands you may find useful. This was a demo of the GitLab workflow. Go ahead and try it. Let me know your feedbacks or bug reports. Contributions are also welcome. Thank you for watching. I hope you find it useful. See you next time.